Hello there, my name is Zimby. Welcome to a brand new video, and today I want to talk about a survival game that's been on my radar lately. And uh, you probably would have guessed it by the title, that game is Conan Exiles, which is based on the Conan universe, you know, the one with Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Now unfortunately this game doesn't come out on early access until February of 2017, which is like half a year away, but I've done some digging and a little bit of research and I feel like there's enough there for me to actually make a video about it, talk about some of the features that will be released. Now I'm not going to spend too much time going over each of the topics, I'm basically just going to cover them all and uh, you'll basically get a general idea of what's happening when the game is released. And all the stuff I'm about to cover has come from Q&As, developer diaries, different bits and pieces from their website. So chances are it is all 100% true. I hope anyway, because it sounds fucking awesome. The game is set to be buy to play. Uh, they haven't said exactly how much it's going to cost, but my bet would be somewhere between $30 and $40. The reason behind this is because it's not your typical indie developed survival game. It's from a company called Funcom, which have actually also worked on Age of Conan, which is an MMORPG. So they're going to have a fair bit of experience and knowledge on the Conan universe, which means that the game should be, well, pretty well polished. There's a bunch of different races you'll be able to choose from, which will let you heavily customise your appearance. Now, these races don't actually have an impact on how the gameplay will fall down, so you don't get specific stats or anything like that depending on what race you pick. It is just purely to look different, which I guess is good for role players. I'm afraid. Afraid? To bear yourself? Why? You're so big and so well grown. You should be proud of your body. How do you expect to reach emptiness without knowing your own body? Could we talk over there? Where the others do not see? Why, yes, brother. Of course. Yeah. As you play Conan Exiles, you'll earn experience, which will be used to unlock craftables. Now, unlike other games, you won't be unlocking different skills or stats or anything like that. It is strictly craftable items. But the good thing about this is the things that you unlock through the craftables and the things that you actually make will actually have different abilities and attack styles. If you're going to learn how to fight, then learn with a real weapon, not with a toothpick. The game is set to have strong player versus environment elements. Which means that hopefully there will be less killing on site and people actually killing each other because there's going to be multiple monsters, beasts and other humans to kill which will drop all sorts of different things. Now these NPCs will scale in difficulty obviously which leads me to my next point and something called the Purge. Now you're probably wondering what the fuck the Purge is. So the Purge is a bunch of different NPCs like monsters and beasts that will roam around the map in a big group and basically attack whatever they come across. So whether you're a new player, a big group of players, an entire base, whatever they come across they will lay siege to, which means you're probably going to need to stick with other people to fight them off. Now they haven't said what you get for actually defending against the Purge and killing all the NPCs, but seeing as it's one of the end game mechanics, I can imagine that it's probably going to be something pretty good. Now this is actually probably one of the things I'm looking forward to most about this game. Um, having this type of system, the Purge, actually helps the game out a lot because you're not really just worried about other people. Typically in survival games you're pretty much just worried about other players, but it seems like in Conan Exiles there's going to be plenty of other things to worry about which means people will hopefully uh, stick together and help each other out. The combat is said to be highly skill based which means that whoever is better at the game will win, it's not highly dependent on what you're wearing, though obviously having better armour and weapons will help you out a bit. Now I like this system because it means if you come across someone who's wearing some of the best armor and using some of the strongest weapons in the game, uh, you're not completely, totally fucked. I like that. Now there's a bunch of little features that they've added into the game that I thought were worth mentioning. Now for example, when you walk through the deserts and the sand, you actually leave footprints. So this means if you're fighting and someone runs away, you can actually see which way they went. And obviously these footprints aren't going to last forever, they'll eventually get filled up by sand. And also when you're fighting people uh, and you attack someone, you'll actually see the damage that it does to their player model. So if you were to strike someone's arm with a sword, it'll leave a cut there and you can actually see that, which is cool. Which leads me to something else that they've talked a little bit about, and that is cutting people in half. Um, yeah, you can totally do that. If you have a big enough weapon and you get them in the right spot, you can just cut them straight in half. It's fucking brutal as. 
Now there's also decapitations, cutting off limbs, so you can totally expect to see that as well. I suppose nothing hurts you. Only pain. When it comes to base building, um, it's not going to be as blocky as it might be in Rainy Kings or Minecraft. It seems a bit more customizable. They have actually said that you can go inside your base and fully furnish the inside of it, which um, adds a nice bit of customizability and will hopefully make bases and big sieges and castles look a little bit better. Now, because the game is set in the Conan universe, you can obviously expect to see plenty of sand, desert, dunes, cliffs, all that kind of stuff. But they've said as the game develops, they'll also add a bunch of different biomes, including snow, swamp, and forests. Now, for those who are interested in owning and maintaining servers, you'll be happy to hear that there is a bunch of customizability when it comes to doing so. So basically, you can choose between them being player versus player and player versus environment. Uh, you can also choose what happens when you die, so if you lose everything or you keep some of your items, you can affect the rate of which experience is earned. So having all these little bits and pieces uh, that can be changed for each server is hopefully going to make uh, servers feel a little bit more individual. Farming will be a big part of the game because food is fairly scarce out in the desert, as you might have expected, there's not a whole lot of stuff growing out there. So once you get a base down, you can start planting and harvesting crops, which will help you survive. Because yeah, it's a survival game. Anyway guys, that pretty much covers all the important features and what we can expect to see uh, when the game is released to early access in February of next year. But I dare say they will release a lot more information before then. So anyway, with that said, uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Have an absolutely lovely day and take it easy.